So um, uh, isn't it a universal experience uh, for all of us as human beings that, that um, by way of human nature, uh, we uh, find ourselves taking things for granted? You know, I'm thinking about, you know, what a marvelous creation we are all. You know, the beautiful parts that God has created us to be as human beings. And, and I'm thinking today about uh, the, the gift of memory. You know, I think we've all had that experience of, uh, in the course of a, of a given day, how many things that somebody will say to us or how many events that, that, that come across our path causes us to think about other things in, in our lives. And that was happening to me, especially as, as I reflected on today's gospel. You know, there's beautiful lines uh, that Jesus speaks to the crowds. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. You know, and my memory started to work. And, and first I started to think about the beautiful homily that Father Tom uh, raised yesterday. And then, you know, his comment about having received First Holy Communion. And my mind went back to June 1st, 1958, when I received my First Communion. And I remember the people that were preparing me to receive her Holy Communion and how they tried to teach us never take Jesus for granted in, in, the, in, the, in the Eucharist. And then my mind couldn't uh, fail but to go back to see how what Jesus spoke to the crowds was later fulfilled at the Last Supper when Jesus took simple bread and, and simple wine and changed it into his body and blood. And I began to think about something that the Lord inspired me three weeks ago today when, when we got together in the evening on Thursday to celebrate the Mass of the Lord's Supper to commemorate what Jesus did at that Last Supper. And, and I began to think again about where Jesus was as he prepared for the Last Supper and how there was such an ache within him, an ache because he was becoming more aware of what he was going to face in terms of the betrayal of his own apostles or their abandonment. And the other ache that he experienced, the tension that was there about knowing how much he wanted to do the Father's will, but the ache of having to leave the apostles whom he came to love so much. And then I remember it with the institution of the Eucharist, Jesus was able to soothe that ache. He was able to do the Father's will, and he was able to remain with his apostles then and all of us now through the Holy Eucharist. And speaking of ache, isn't it true that, that so many of us are experiencing an ache as this shutdown continues? The ache of not being able to wrap our arms around people that we love so much. The need to be able to observe social distancing, to wear masks. And on a deeper level, you know, how many, the majority of our people are aching because they can't receive Holy Eucharist. And those of us who can ache because you can't be with us. And it seems to me that uh, as we reflect on, on the words of Jesus today, I'm the living bread come down from heaven my flesh for the life of the world. It's important for us to go back to our memories and to recall that sometimes the way that we take ourselves for granted calls us to see that maybe along the line in our lives, and especially when it comes to the Eucharist, that we may too have taken it for granted that we may have automatically come to receive communion whenever we come to Holy Mass without really thinking about what Jesus went through to give us this gift. I recall that when I was getting ready to receive First Holy Communion, Sister Eugenia, who was our school supervisor, taught us the very important question and said, boys and girls, you know, I, I, I think somewhere along the line in your life, you may not realize what a precious gift you're receiving. You're all excited about receiving First Holy Communion, but there may come a time when, when you lose that fervor. And hoping that you don't lose that fervor, I do want to teach you this important prayer. I'm sure all of us have said it many times in our lives. Oh Lord Jesus, help me to receive you in Holy Communion as if it were my first, my last, and my only. 
during these times when we ache, where we can't be together, and more importantly, when perhaps maybe you can't receive the Holy Eucharist or we can't be with you when we celebrate the Eucharist. May we pray, God, that uh, this time may help us to deepen our love and our appreciation for that great gift that Jesus gives us. He is the living bread come down from heaven. And he remains with us in that ache, just as he remained with his apostles with his ache at the Last Supper. May we truly know how close the Lord is with us and may this time stir our hearts to fall more deeply in love with him and to come to a much deeper appreciation of the great gift that is his living bread.